Hi, I am Angie. I am doing the Ageless Rebellion and I will invite the most amazing ageless rebel women you have seen. They are 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years old and vibrant, cool, successful, having started new lives or doing something completely crazy and new in their lives. They have all power and I wanted to introduce them to you and let them tell you what they feared about aging and how they got out of it and how they made this new life work for them. Uh, it's not just that people are rejuvenating themselves and it's not just for people over 40 or 50, it's for everybody. Everybody who wants to live a life from their soul and not a life dictated by some age <laughs> or race or color or um, whatever, all these restrictions, we have enough of it, right? And to be a woman was a restriction by itself for so many hundred of, hundreds of years, thousands of years. So it's a new century and finally we are here and we are doing what we want and wearing what we like and saying what we feel because we have the power now. So this is all about that and um, I wanted to show you a little bit, or actually tell you a little bit about how I got to the Ageless Rebellion idea because it's very, very, very personal. It was first of all out for myself. I wanted to live forever. So I studied a lot of longevity science. I went to futurist conferences. I talked to Aubrey de Grey and Liz Parrish. It was a really cool time. But then I needed to do something personal in my life, not just theory. And um, I thought, I have learned so much now that I can start a new life. I did another dive into the unconscious. I had decades of it, of different journeys and therapies. And uh, I studied two years of art therapy college in, in college in Santa Fe. So I should have known that knew a lot, but I didn't get to the deepest, deepest me. So I did another year of that and finally I found that missing ingredient which I never had before which was self-love and self-love really catapulted all the little bits and pieces in my life and brought them together in this swirl and boom suddenly I had a picture suddenly I know and feel who I am what my essence is what my voice is oh it was so beautiful and then I thought cool now I'm becoming a writer again because a writer I was all through my life. Uh, I did construction companies and art galleries and so many different businesses but one red thread through all of it was writing and when something went wrong a relationship or some other drama I came out of it always saying at least I have something to write about. So that was my passion and my visions and you know I wasn't quite sure if I would actually dare to believe in all my visions and my memories of past lives or connections to other levels of reality, whatever you want to call it. So I um, wanted to get the power together and finally finish my trilogy, which is called Mia Culpa <clears throat> in its place in 2088, 1988 and 1242. So it's fantasy and sci-fi. I started on that. Uh, got a couple of chapters together. My editor was pretty happy, but I there was something with me which wasn't quite working. And uh, then I went to a party of a colleague, a books signing party, and I dolled up and felt pretty good about myself. And I went into the room of 80 people and not one person looked up. Nobody saw me. At that time, I already had so much fear of aging that I felt un invisible and I manifested it completely. So I went into a room not saying, hi, 
I'm here for you. Who are you? I went into a room saying, oh gosh, I think I'm not good enough. So that had to stop. But at the time I didn't quite know that. I uh, was angry. So angry that I actually crashed my car. And after that, I got the slap on the face I needed to quit my job, start a new life and started to write on a book about anger, of course. <laughs> it, co it was called the um, From Grumpy Bitch to Happy Witch because the essence of mine is pretty sorcery. So from that, again, I had to shrink it to the root of the problem, which was aging. Is, is, I don't know, is it? <laughs> so I started to write The Ageless Rebellion. And on that trip, I realized that I suddenly, because I was so busy, busy, busy trying to get it together, I was not doing what I was preaching. I did forget my workouts conveniently, I didn't eat so amazingly well, I forgot to drink water, I had muffins, sugar, Oof. and so I thought this, no, 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 I have to have a commitment buddy. And I created the Ageless Rebel Playbook, which has everything to give me discipline in a fun way. It's a playbook, not a workbook, because we had enough of work, I would imagine you too. So this uh, playbook is really cool. I wish you would all get it so that we can play it together in the Ageless Rebel Facebook group. It's called the Ageless Rebellion. And there's a lot of support and women talking about their experiences and all their cool uh, successes. And actually in this book, there's really some cute, it is all about playfulness because your soul won't listen to you if you don't play. The soul is hidden somewhere in your inner child and you have to kind of get her out and you know with serious theories and meditation you most probably won't get her out as fast as you can get her out with play. So in here we have this every week starts with a new coloring meditation and I did it actually for the first time and it was so amazing. I thought, oh no, I don't want to be within the lines. I need to get out and be creative and wild. That's what I am. But I did it. I stayed within the confines of the, of the beautiful little drawing there and it was so beautiful. It was really meditative and I really was trying to get the little dots right and really, really cute. So I had a lot of fun with that. And here are the beautiful colors I came up with. And um, that inspired me, of course, then to go on and really work on this book too. Um, I started the next page here with some, with some lace and this little cute little angels and underneath here there will be um, a secret of mine. <laughs> so, and a secret of course, which at the end of the two months of the planner, I would like to have resolved and out in the open. So anyway, enough about the Ageless Rebellion, enough about me. I just wanted to get you into the now of what is happening here. And I'm really looking forward to next uh, weekend where I will interview the first amazing woman for all of you to meet. So please stay tuned, sign up, subscribe, and I see you um, most probably Monday or Tuesday next week. Thanks.